Yo, 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 welcome back to the Further Your Lifestyle podcast, conversations on lifestyle, passions, and hustles. My name's Chris Furlong. I am your host, and I'm super excited to be back here having the conversation with you. Episode 75 today, and today we're talking about conquer your mind to conquer your goals. There's a great quote that comes from Dwayne Johnson, and it says, success isn't always about greatness. It's about consistency. Consistent hard work gains success. Greatness will come. So when it comes to goals and ambitions, we love them, we hate them. It's it's one of those kind of relationships where we're motivated at one moment and then sometimes we get stuck in the grind of it and it becomes too much, it becomes overwhelming. But the, the key thing here is that when it comes to goals, we should never live without them. They enable us to get further. They enable us to grow and they enable us to change our lives. The problem is we actually become so hyped up on achieving not one, but many new and crazy goals. And it's okay to have crazy goals. It's great to have these big, ambitious and audacious goals, but when we don't shelve some and put them away for a different time or when the timing is better, or we don't know how to, I guess, plan out these goals of when it makes sense to take action on one and to shelve the other, as I just said, we end up not having any time and we get overwhelmed, so we we don't actually achieve any. We end up just stopping and changing what we're doing altogether. That is a bit of a generalization, but it happens so often and it happens too much. The other thing is we become worn out. We become overwhelmed within months, if not weeks, and we, we just give up, right? And that, that is the challenge of it is goals are great. They're powerful. They can do so much for you, but they do come at an expense. And if we don't manage them, if we don't maintain them, and if we don't go in there with the right mindset and expectation, it can be a bit of a sticky situation. Now, while there isn't any set guarantee that we're actually going to achieve these goals, you've got to do the work, spoiler alert, there are some steps that we can take to obviously ensure that we can give it our best shot. And that's what we're talking about today. We'll be keeping it short and sweet. So buckle up and tune in and let's dive in. Number one is believing that you are actually capable of achieving these goals that you set for yourself. And I think this may be the most single important thing that you can do when it comes to setting out achieving your goals. If you have a goal to hit 1,000 YouTube subscribers this year and you think, I can't do that, you're not going to do it, right? If you have a a goal to hit 10,000 YouTube subscribers and you think, no, let's just make it 2,000, you're already limiting your belief of what you're capable of doing. Of course, there's a lot of hard work and a lot of components that go into play and factors on trying to achieve that goal, but the worst thing that you can do is already hinder yourself by believing that that's not even possible. The next one is when it comes to second guessing yourself and you will do it. You already kind of do it when we start struggling to believe that we can even do it. But sometimes along the journey, we can start to second guess that is this goal even possible? And sometimes we think, are we against all odds? Is this possible? Is it even worth pursuing at all? Well, if you believe in yourself and you think it's a worthy goal and you want it, you got to do it anyway. You got to put in the hard work during the low troughs and the high peaks. It's a little easier when it's a high peak, but when it's deep dark into those valleys, you got to push through. You got to seriously do it and you got to be willing to do it. Next one is if you do believe it and you are doing it against all odds, now you must strive to be fearless. And what I mean by this is you have to be willing to get relentless. You have to be willing to get passionate. You have to be willing to hustle. And I'm not here to say that you can't have a good life. You can't have a work-life balance. You can't spend time with friends and things like that. What I'm saying is you need to be willing to do the work and doing the work is the hard part. And it means it's going to challenge you in ways you never thought you would be challenged. It's going to challenge you physically, mentally, probably even spiritually too. And you're going to really just question a lot of things, especially, is it worth it? Am I doing the right thing? Why am I doing this thing? And sometimes we we get so stuck up with the fear or the doubt or the uncertainty of where we're going It is why it's so important that you do have some belief in yourself, that you do understand what you want, and that you are willing to set the expectation that you are going to relentlessly pursue this no matter what. The next one is in order to achieve success or to set out and reach those goals that you have set up, it is imperative that when you set out these goals that you are willing to be persistent. And persistence kind of comes back to getting out there, striving to be fearless and getting out there and doing the work and even believing in yourself. You need to be persistent with all those things because as you go through those ups and downs, you're going to have to come back to understanding why you're doing this in the first place. And that will help you be persistent. 
And the next one is nothing that is worth pursuing is done within the blink of an eye. It's just, it's just not going to happen, right? It takes time. All great things take time. It takes hard work and you most definitely need to be patient. And that is the final point there that I want to share is having that patience. You know, we've spoken about being persistent. You need to be patiently persistent. You need to be willing to strive through the fear. You need to be fearless. And to be fearless, it means you're going to have to be persistent with a lot of patience. <laughs> you're also going to have to believe in yourself and you're going to have to do it when you don't feel like doing it. These are all parts of greatness. These are all parts of conquering your goals. But most of all, this is about conquering your mind. And if you can go through these areas and really understand those values that it's going to take you or these characteristics that it's going to take you to actually achieve this, then the hard work will get a little bit easier. It's still going to be hard work. It's just a little easier. You see, we can be held back by things so easily. It just takes one little thing to go wrong and we tend to just blow it out of proportion. As a runner, for me, you know, factors such as weather or conditions can throw me off. It means I don't want to do it. If it's really, really hot, it's like it's too hot to be running. It's not worth it. I'll just, I'll just do it later when it's cooler. Or maybe it's a big storm or a thunderstorm. And we tend to use those as excuses to stop us from getting out there and getting the job done. Of course, timing is everything when it comes to running in terms of running at the best time to make it the most safe. But that is the kicker. Safety is always my number one rule here and priority. If it's safe to get out and run in the rain, if it's safe to get out and run in the heat, I'll do it. If it's not safe, I won't do it. And I think that's where you need to make sure you set those understanding and those clear boundaries and expectations. Because if there is a break between the rain, between the heat, or if it cools down, then there's a chance for me to get out there and get the run done. And I need to be willing to do that. At the end of the day, the run is more important than the race. We need to be understanding that, you know, through the consistency, the persistence, the patience, and striving through those tough times, those are the things that are going to enable me to be able to show up to race day and make the race day happen. At the end of the day, it really comes down to being slow and steady and being consistent. And consistency is key. Progress is impossible without change. And those who cannot change their minds cannot change anything. That's from George Bernard Shaw. And that's really the big kicker of this episode is progress can't happen if you're not willing to make things happen, if you're not willing to do anything. And I talk about this a lot on this podcast because unfortunately, if you want to further your lifestyle, if you want to further your life, if you want to make a change, you need to make a change. You need to be willing to go further. You need to be willing to do something different that you have been doing before. Because if you keep doing the same, you'll continue to get the same. So what you need to do is you need to get out there today. You need to be persistent. You need to be consistent. You need to be willing to fight against the fear. You need to be willing to believe in yourself. And most of all, you need to be willing to put in the consistency because progress requires all of that. And if you want progress and if you want goals, you need to be willing to progress. And if you want to achieve your goals, if you want to conquer your goals, you need to conquer your mind and it's going to require you to make progress. One thing I do want to make very clear to you, though, is whether you fail or you succeed, getting out there and doing it will help you change your mindset from just ideas of goals, but bring these to life and make these goals into helping you create something of a broader and greater success in the end. See, I have goals, but I have an end game. I have goals that are going to get me to that end game. And going through the experience of chasing these goals and trying to achieve these goals or milestones, or to these certain points that I know I need to get to in order to basically unlock the next level, or to get me to that next point where I can then have access, or to build that relationship, or to have a certain amount of cash flow, or to be able to do an ultra marathon, or to be able to get into a certain career, or a different area of study. All these things take effort, time, and sometimes it's just experience. But if you want to get closer to those greater goals, those greater end game goals, you need to be willing to start small with some of these smaller goals and kick butt with them. Because when you kick butt with the small stuff, the bigger stuff gets a little bit easier. Consistency is what makes success. Not one moment of focus, but consistent focus and intent. And that's how you conquer your mind. And that's how you conquer your goals. There's so many ways that we can look at this. There's so many different perspectives. You might believe it, you might not, or you might agree, or you might not. <clears throat> But the reality of this is there's different characteristics, there's different variables and, diff and there's different factors that all come into play of us being able to conquer and get what we want. It doesn't have to be big. It doesn't have to be an audacious goal. It might be an audacious and big goal just for you. 
Just because your goal is X and someone else's is Y does not mean that yours is any smaller or any bigger than anyone else's. What you set to do is your mountain at that point in time to defeat or to climb or to conquer. All right, so get out there today, see what you can do. And if there's anything here that's resonated with you and you think someone else could benefit with this, please go ahead and share this, share this with them and help them understand why this might help them further their life. I really do appreciate you tuning in and listening to this episode. And as I said before, if you think someone else could benefit from this, please go ahead and share. Otherwise, you have a wonderful day. Cheers. Now, if you didn't know, we do have the podcast merch and this is with a key focus of enamel pins. Now, if you haven't checked these out, make sure you do because the intent of these are really just to be a small token and a reminder for you to charge on, to push on and to further your lifestyle, uh, whether it is a gift for someone else to encourage them or maybe to inspire them, or maybe it's a way to motivate yourself, or you can simply just make a purchase to simply support the podcast, which would be greatly appreciated. We do also have some sweaters and some long tees, so make sure you check it out. Link in the description and in the show notes. Really do appreciate it. Cheers.